This lesson we're going to do a pansy toil design. Open generations, open your import image and surf till you find your pansy 2 image and click OK. Leave it as simple artwork, leave the size as is and the other settings the same, click OK. Around the, click around the outside, holding down your control key and delete and generate. Now you'll notice that we have some odd stitches down the um, stitch sequence. So we're just going to select the black box and do a control delete. Now select all the parts except the pansy center which is the red area and go to stitch, outline from area edges, we want a run stitch we want outside border, click OK and generate. Select all those outlines, make sure they're selected. We're going to go to edit outline button, right click and we're going to merge and generate. Now I'm going to change the colour of that outline to a purple colour and I'm also going to change the order on my stitch sequence of the different parts. So move, move the green area, select it on the stitch sequence window and move it to position 1 and click OK. Now get the pale blue area and move to position 2 and click OK. The yellow area goes to 3. The purple area goes to 4. And the blue area goes to 5 and click OK. Now you need to select your green area, blue, yellow, purple and dark blue areas and make sure they're all set at a complex fill and generate. Now select the green area and go to view outline. Click adjust with new points. Now I'm going to start oh, probably around here and again around here. Move my cursor to get those blue areas and then I'm just going to randomly click around, left clicking, hit enter, escape and generate. my space bar. I'm going to remove the underlay, go to complex, use smooth edges and change my density to 1.5, apply and OK. Now I'm going to control C and control V, that's copy and paste it another one on top and is actually if you look down there on the sequence it's actually at the bottom so I'm just going to move that to number 2 and click OK. Go into view outline, right click, adjust with new points, this time I'm going to put a point in here and one in between 
where it turns blue and I'm just going to gently now come inside that hit enter escape and generate now I'm going to cross hatch that top one so I'm going to actually bring that around and generate and change both those to the same color purple now you can see that I've actually cross hatched that area now we need to do the same for each of these other areas Once you've completed all the five petals of your pansy, you can change all the colours to the same purple as your outline and you could also save the centre part as well in the purple colour. Now I'm just going to zoom into the centre of the pansy. I'm going to get my manual line punch tool and starting from the centre I'm actually going to manual punch up and down each part of those lines. Try and come back on top of those nodes if you can and make sure you get under that centre part of the pansy. mistake, back pedal I didn't want those lines to go underneath my actual toil part of my pansy I'm just left clicking you can always go back and edit these lines later if you want to and enter, escape, generate. While it's still selected we need just a single run and generate and we need to move the in and the out points. And going generate, change the colour to purple and move it above the centre part of that pansy. Now with your outline, as you can see, it actually runs around the, the outer edge of that centre. So what I suggest to do is just grab that centre part right click and adjust with new points. Now I'm just going to actually click on those corners and get this bit and then I'm just going to make sure that the centre of that pansy goes over the top of that outline. Enter and then where I have those other two points there I'm just again just going to come out at just a fraction more. Escape and generate. Okay, I'll move my in and my out points. And 3D view. And there you have your toiled pansy. You may want to move some of these lines here that you've drawn. That one is a fraction long. Okay, it's a fraction long because it's still joined up. So we'll right click to deselect, select the whole design and then generate. That's better. So there you have your toil pansy design. Okay now we need to move that um, outline above the centre part, grab the centre area and change from a complex fill to a satin fill and then make sure you've got everything generated again. And now you can see that we've actually got a satin part to the 
centre of that flower. Okay, all we have to do now is move the in and out point. So select part one, and we've got in and the out. Part two, in and out. Part three, it's got in and across to out, and then in, back to out, and so on for the other parts of the design. Okay, you will need to test stitch this out just to make sure that the design is how you want it. You may need to change the directions on some of this hatching. But I hope you've enjoyed the lesson.